Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tag team contest of 20 minutes duration. There will be no round, there will be a 30 second interval after each fall, and the time will be called every five minutes. With two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winners. Between on my left and in the red corner, ladies and gentlemen from Stockport, I'm sure you give a big hand for Colin Johnson. And ladies and gentlemen, his partner from Kent to Romney Riley. Their opponents on my right and in the blue corner, stepping in for Pete Roberts. I'm sure you give a very big hand to Tony Sinclair. And ladies and gentlemen, the man who will be the captain of the Kung Fu Fighters, of course, I'm sure you give a very big reception to the amazing Colin Thank you, Mike Judd. And uh, as he said, the Kung Fu fighters, normally Kung Fu with Pete Roberts, but on this occasion, Pete Roberts not returned yet from Japan, from a tour out there, as he was expected to for today, this special occasion. And Tony Sinclair steps in to his shoes against two of the heavier boys, Colin Joynson at 16 stone four, Baz Romany Riley of Ashford Kent at 15 seven. Second down, command So once again, Grapple fans, on Cup Final Day, as so often we've had in the past, it's tag team time. 20 minutes tag, two falls, two submissions, a knockout, or a disqualification to decide the winners. And it's Tony Sinclair versus Colin Joynson. Sinclair in the light trunks, white and the silver boots. Next ball. Didn't have much to do, of course, in the title bout. It was such a sporting bout, he only had to count pin falls. <clears throat> but he might have a little more to do in this tag contest. I'm sure it won't be long before we see Pete Roberts back in this country, taking his rightful place with the Kung Fu Fighters and a quick cross press by Tony Sinclair but didn't quite happen. Now a tag and in comes Kung Fu against Romany Riley and Kung Fu at 12-7 giving away three stone exactly to Riley. Riley in the leotard. The much tattooed Romany Riley. And one of the few barefoot wrestlers that we have in this country today. <laughs> Very cunning wrestler indeed. Johnny Saint mold, but of course, a great deal too heavy for Johnny Saint. Well up into the middleweights. If Romany Riley continues with the strength holds all the time, he might slow Kung Fu down quite a bit. That's obviously his intention at the moment. An attack. Colin Joynson, a mere 16 stone four against 12 and a half stone Kung Fu. So he'll probably try a few of the strength holds too. Arm lock starts. Still the arm lock there. Come on if you want this. Oh, yes. A man of 16 stone four, a bit tough to get him over like that from an arm lock. Yes, finally with the height. A lazy height, but it works. Tag. 
Thomas Sinclair now versus Colin Joyce. Sinclair in the light trunks. Tremendous height advantage. But giving away quite a bit of weight here, but a stone four pounds. Oh yes, over the top nicely, got the way Nelson, but Colin Joyce has spun out before he could come in. And so far, both men not participating are on their tag ropes and haven't left them. Let's hope that continues throughout this bout. There they are, Kung Fu on his tag rope, rope right at the corner. And there's uh, Romney Riley on his, doing exactly what they're supposed to do with the change. Joints him out, but landing well on his feet, no trouble. Tags. It should be done over the top rope, and the referee spotted it. He won't take a tag from there. He's going to be inside the ring and tag his partner from inside the ring over the top rope. So he decides not to tag after all and goes, continues with Kung Fu. Yes, the strength moves coming. Now attack. Legitimate over the top rope. Riley almost walks into one of the mule kicks Kung Fu is renowned for. Semi-jab stranglehold by the big man. Yes, he's going to use his strength now and I think that's their best hope, Johnson and Henry. All accounts, they must stop Kung Fu and Tony Sinclair from wrestling. They're so fast, this man. So as we heard the timekeeper there, five minutes, fifteen minutes to go, and still no score. And a tag, just reached. Joinson versus Kung Fu. Oh yes. Come on, push. Sinclair reaching out for him to try and get a tag. You can see the hand coming across Johnson. But he didn't need him. The mule kick got him. Now he'll tag. Oh, yes, well, it came from Johnson. It really came. But a tag again. Robinny Riley taking on against Tony Sinclair. Nice double arm and over the top for shoulder press, but too far, and he came through the ropes. <coughs> and both knees right in the face. Checking to see if nose bleeding, but no. Not yet, anyway. But to the stomach. Head mare. Yes, and another big uppercut forearm smash, trying to follow it up with another. And so far, referee Max Ward handled this bout par excellence. Perfectly legal in step. Of course, Tony Sinclair, a great footballer in his time. Used to be on Manchester United books as a youth player. I don't know which team he's rooting for in the afternoon. Four in against Johnson. Yes, the milk is coming thick and fast now. Yes, another one right to the jaw that time. Beautiful time. How he manages those with bare feet, I don't know. But they seem pretty effective. Shoulder check. Another one coming. Oh, yes, Kung Fu waiting for him, getting both arms, trying to put him to go backwards, lose balance. Yes, he's got him over the top for a shoulder press, can Kung Fu hold it? He's got it.
eight minutes in to this bout and Kung Fu gets the first one over Colin Johnson for his team of Sinclair and Kung Fu which uh, called for today although not quite accurate the Kung Fu fighters any second now the bell for reset second now second session commence wrestling there we go for session number two and Kung Fu and Johnson have to restart I bet Johnson's pretty mad about that. He'll start the strength holds now. Stop this boy from wrestling. Reaching for a crotch hold, Kung Fu while in a backhand. Oh, highly dangerous. Lift him! Lift him! Come on, you can do it! Beautiful slam. But doesn't bother to follow it. The Joyson's had enough. A bit amazed as he gets out of the ring. But it's Tony Sinclair now versus big Roman Wright. Ropes break and Tony Sinclair doesn't hesitate. Immediately stops. Ten All four. Minutes, the ten minutes is called by the timekeeper. Halfway through the tag bout and uh, all four men behaving impeccably up to now. Joinson now versus Sinclair. Joinson in the dark trunks. Over his tone weight advantage here. Now what kind of a fall there? Kung Fu helps him up. No trouble. No trouble. Oh, a high throw, and that wasn't too good a landing for Tony Sinclair. Not such a good one that time. Sinclair had enough for the moment. In comes Kung Fu now versus Johnson. Remember, this was the the fall last time that they were together. Kung Fu took the first fall over Johnson. Well, he's out of the semi jab stranglehold into a wrist lever counter back in that position. Now, can he hold that against this big man? From Stockport, Colin Jones. Nice trip forward, nicely. The cart wheeled out nicely for a big man. He did that very neatly and quickly. Romany Riley now, Kung Fu. Yes, if he starts that stuff, then Kung Fu will be in trouble. Crutch hold, slam. Ah, uh, Johnson doesn't want to know. He's staying on his tag rope for the moment. Uh, but uh, Kung Fu does, and in steps Tony Sinclair. Which makes uh, Romney Riley hesitate a moment. Enough for the moment, says Sinclair. In comes Kung Fu to continue the good work. Yes, yeah, straight figures to the throw. Beauty. Warren Kung Fu's right hand of it. Joins him now. And the miss. Oh, a badly missed drop kick. Not a good landing by Kung Fu. Now, that means Johnson's got a chance of a backbreaker or a weakener further to that back. And follow up with the equalizer that he's after. So desperately. And like more weakness to the back, yes. Making sure, Johnson, that his man keeps a long way from his own corner so there's no tag possible.
In comes Romany Riley. More back quickness, keeping him away from his corner. All perfectly legal as long as his man is not down when he attacks. A tag, almost a tag chance there for Kung Fu. But now thrown to the opposite corner. Joins his turn. Really using the strength moves now, these two big fellas. More back weakness over the shoulder this time. And you might get a submission of this, and he's got it. There's the equalizing submission to Johnson over Kanko. over 16 minutes gone in this 20 minute tag contest four to go one fall each now and Kung Fu in a bit of a state but he's, he's only got a few seconds before he's got to continue this and he must be the one that comes back against Johnson to restart second round, third final testing commence wrestling third and final session and Tony Sinclair trying to get in this place but he can't get away with it Kung Fu must continue. The same two men, when the fall occurs, must restart after a fall. Kung Fu's left leg worrying him now, and more weakness coming from Johnson. And from Johnson and Romney Riley keep Kung Fu away from Tony Sinclair's corner now. That's what they're going to try. And a tag. He got the tag in. And beautiful jumping, really action now as Tony Sinclair gets his own back for his partner. Good back weak nerve, that knee dropped. By Johnson. swing on that. No, I didn't get a swing on that too. A body check though works. No! 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 Backbreaker over the shoulder and Tony Sinclair could be in trouble from this. He's got to hold on somehow. There can't be much more than a couple of minutes to go. Yes, he's made it. Made it down anyway. The body. Back to the body. Just a minute to go now. Johnson and Tony Sinclair trying a flying tackle. Can he hold it? He's got it. He's got it. The Kung Fu fighters with the stand-in Tony Sinclair have made it two falls to one in 19 and a half minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, there was only 30 seconds left in that contest. And it was won by Tony Sinclair and the amazing Kung Fu. So what a great tag contest and won, as Mike Judge says, in 19 and a half minutes out of the 20. Two falls to one, Sinclair and Kung Fu the winners.